I'm Dr. Donald Jensen, Professor of Medicine, Director for the Center for Liver Disease at the University of Chicago. And I think there were several important uh, papers presented at this year's liver meeting. Some of those that we just discussed at the press conference this afternoon were particularly relevant to practitioners practicing in a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, probably the most impressive one to me was the, was the growth of the severity of liver disease due to hepatitis C over the, that we predict to happen over the next decade. Uh, this was presented by Dr. Kwong at, uh, at the press conference um, and ties in nicely to the press release yesterday by the CDC uh, regarding the uh, screening recommendations for uh, hepatitis C, that there will be universal screening recommendations for patients, individuals born between 1945 and 1965, which should capture about 78% of all patients with hepatitis C. Now, how do you think this research is going to advance the field? Well, I think the, the, the research in terms of identifying who's at risk for developing more severe liver disease. For example, uh, they reported that 19% of patients over the age of 65 already have advanced liver disease. If the average age of a person with hepatitis C is 55 already, um, we're gonna see that that aging population uh, is gonna be developing more severe liver disease, more needs for liver transplantation, more deaths due to liver disease, more uh, complications such as liver cancer. So research has to focus on uh, better ways of identifying these patients early, treating them early, because we know that treatment of hepatitis C can cure hepatitis C, can cure the virus, and can decrease the risk of these other complications going forward. Yeah, you know, my favorite session had nothing to do with the area that I'm most involved in, which is the beauty of these kind of meetings. So my favorite session was actually one that I sat in on where they discussed diet and exercise uh, and obesity. Uh, and how we should, what we should recommend to our patients uh, in terms of diet and exercise, those who are obese or those who have fatty liver. Uh, and I, I learned a lot because there's a lot of new information on what, what is a healthy diet, what's a, health, what's a diet that can limit the amount of fat uh, that deposits in the liver, how much exercise is good exercise, what, what are the, the impediments to exercise for our patients. Uh, and that session I found uh, terrifically rewarding, not only professionally, but also personally.